Mom of three, Brooke Allensworth, was last seen July 12, 2018. She was last seen in the Newark oil trough area. She was driving a 2007 Toyota Camry that was black. That car was found near the White River in oil trough. It was actually found on a boat access ramp area uh, off of Highway 122. Brooke was reported missing July 26th of 2018. Her car was technically located the next day, but an officer had seen it in the same place uh, several days prior. He just didn't know that that person was missing because they hadn't been reported missing yet. But he did make a log of it earlier than the 27th. There are some suspicious circumstances surrounding Brooke's disappearance. Brooke went to a salon and got her ha hair dyed blonde and her nails done the day before she disappeared. Brooke was normally known to have brunette hair. Also, in my research on this case, I found that it was reported that Brooke was wearing two different shoes whenever she disappeared. She was wearing two left shoes. One was a flip-flop and the other one was a wedge. Police said there were no signs of foul play at the vehicle. It just appeared to be parked. It was locked. The keys were not in the vehicle. But Brooke was a smoker and her cigarettes and her cell phone were both in the vehicle. Police did take DNA swabs from the vehicle. They also used cadaver dogs to search the shore of White River. They didn't find anything. Um, and I couldn't find any reports on if the DNA swabs turned up any more evidence. At the time of her disappearance, Brooke was newly divorced from her ex-husband, Bradley Durham. In 2020, there were a lot of rumors that the Brooke Allensworth case had something to do with the Sydney Sutherland case, but I couldn't find anything backing that up. Police don't think that it's connected to Quake Llewellyn at this time. Brooke is 5'8". When she was last seen, she weighed around 180 pounds. Uh, she has blue eyes. She had a tattoo of numbers on her abdomen. Brooke was 37 years old when she disappeared, and she was working as a nurse at that time. Certainly, Brooke's family would want her located or some closure in the case. If you have any information about this case, please call the Independence County Sheriff's Office at... 870-793-8838.